To me, they are more powerful computers that will continue to replace your tasks. And this thing with it, the chat bot and the writing, its ability to write, let it write things that nobody wanted to write, like instruction manuals. Or <laughs> let, let it, let it write an instruction manual. Nobody wants to write those things. Or, or tour guides, okay? That all the things that were never signed by authors, let the thing write those. And sure, yes, and it'll put some people out of work. So what happens now is when you go to college or you get educated at all, you don't want to learn a trade because that could go extinct. You know, you don't want to learn how to make horse-drawn buggies because that could go extinct. What you want to do is learn how to think, how to put together new information into new ideas so that you can always be out ahead and be have value to an employer. And so... That's it. So education is going to have to respond to this. They don't tell you this, but a computer flies your airplane. The pilots in there basically for show, <laughs> the computer flies the airplane, especially the, the old ones. No, but the modern ones, it's flown by a computer basically on all every practically all elements of it. Okay. Are you saying, oh, it's taking away my humanity. No, it's making the plane safer. Don't you want that? Okay, so by the way, if you, the movie Airport, that one of the early disaster movies, I think it was 1970. I, I recently saw that, and I said, "Oh my gosh!" You took a look inside the cockpit. There were four people in the cockpit. There's the pilot, the co-pilot, the navigator, the this. It's like, <laughs> oh my gosh! And so, so yes, times have changed. A, a computer beat us at chess, a com and that was long ago. A computer beat it, the best chess player. A computer beat us at Jeopardy. Talk about the human culture losing to a computer. So the, the the world didn't come to an end when that happened. That is, people didn't react emotionally uh, when that happened. But all of a sudden, you say, write me an essay on the Etruscans, and out comes an essay that's basically perfect, and people freak out. Because now it's in your backyard when we've always had it in our backyard. Holding aside the fear that is in every single uh, computer takes over the world movie, you know, like Terminator or The Matrix, holding those aside for the moment. I think a more immediate, let's call it a threat, is the capacity of computers to fake things, to fake your voice, your face, create a three-dimensional version of you based on just a few photographs, all right? We've already had this happen from what I've read where they sample of the voice of a loved one of yours and then that loved one calls you, it's all fake now, calls you and say, oh, I'm, I'm touring Istanbul and I lost my credit card. Can I use your credit card while I'm here? And I'll pay you back when I get home. And you recognize the voice, you recognize everything about it. It might have even been a video call. And then you give them your credit card and bada bing, uh, AI just stole your credit card. Suppose you... There are two countries that are already not getting along, all right? And then you fake an announcement of the leader of one of those countries that they're going to invade this afternoon. And the other country then reacts to this. And then it completes complete deadly chaos, even though neither leader said what the deep fake claimed it did. So we already have the problem of misinformation, disinformation, uh, people believing they're experts because they spend a few a few minutes reading a Google page and then they override the actual opinion of an actual expert. And so that's already created havoc uh, in the social media circles. So, so this would magnify that. Now, there's a part of me, the chess game playing part of me, where you have to set up pieces and then you look for an end game. The part of me wonders, maybe AI will create such good fakes that no one will trust the internet anymore for anything. And we just have to simply shut it down. That would be interesting because it's already, we've already seen the, it's done some great things, okay? But we've already seen the damage that it has caused, the tribalization of, of, of culture and civilization and their hatred, the cesspool that festers in, you know, We've seen it. I've seen it. You've surely seen it. I've been in it. So maybe it's the final nail of a coffin in the internet. 30 years. It was a good run. 
from the early 90s to the early 20s and 2020s. Now it's time for the next thing. That could be the greatest gift of AI to the internet, that it shuts down the internet, that we, that the internet gets, the internet gets a vote of no confidence from us.